Hello, all you gorgeous girlies. Thank you for coming and spending 40 minutes of your very valuable time listening to me talk a little bit about makeup, fashion, gorgeous looks that you can wow your clients with. Um, and I'm going to start off with a little bit of presentation of my work because some of you, <coughs> you have to excuse me, I've got a bit of a cough. Some of you might know of me and might know my work, but some of you who don't know me probably think, who is that guy? What's he doing up there? So I just want to give you a little background about me, my career, what I've been doing, and why I'm here really today. So first off, we're going to start with a presentation of my work, and then I'm going to do a um, three different makeup looks. This is the bit where you can wow your clients with. Just out of interest, how many of you are actually makeup artists? Quite a, quite a few. That's, that's about a third. That's very good. And how many of you would like to do more makeup within what you do? Well, that's very good. We like Keen. That's fabulous. So first off, let's start this. Now, I'm not a techie person, so please forgive me, but I think I'm going to hit the, the first button, and this should be right. This is just a presentation of my, some of my work from my portfolio, which is about 20 or 25 pictures. I'm a British, and I'll talk at the same time, obviously. I'm a British makeup artist, been working in the UK now for about 25 years, creating looks for magazines, runway, celebrities. It's, ma it's, it's very fashion inspired. My background has been always as a freelancer within the fashion and beauty industry, working in London, Paris, New York, and we did a show a couple of years in Milan. And these are just, this is like the editorial stuff, the stuff that comes out in some of the nice magazines. Obviously, a lot of my work, um, you don't get to see because I do a lot of high, high kind of prestige people that are going to awards ceremonies, that are going to um, red carpet events, you know, big, big parties, that kind of thing, where the photos aren't always very good. And I've done loads of pop videos as well. Boy George, Atomic Kitten, you know, loads of things like that. Recently, I've been working with Jade Goody, bless her, for her wedding. Some of you might have seen my picture in OK Magazine last week doing Jade's makeup. So that's, this is backstage at Jenny Packham. We did a show in Milan for her. Because I actually have my own makeup company too. There's Daniel Sandler Cosmetics, which is another string to my bow. And I have makeup artists all up and down the country that uh, don't work for me, but they're fabulous mobile makeup artists that sell my product direct to the customer. We train the makeup artists. We select our own makeup artists. And... Um, in fact, these are some pictures from Elle. I'm the makeup artist for Elle magazine, but online, luk.com. I do an awful lot of instructional videos. This is a story coming out in Cosmo, British Cosmo next month. All about different skin tones and eye color and things. More Cosmopolitan magazine. You can see they're very trend-led, very trend-inspired with bright colors. If some of you may not actually know my work from recognizing it, you probably would have seen my name in a lot of magazines from giving tips. Daniel Sandler says, put this blusher on this season, using this, all that kind of thing. So um, there's a lot, there are a lot of st strings to my bow, as it were. I was actually a judge for professional beauty as well. That's the lovely Nell McAndrew. That's Mina Savari, who you might know. Jerry Halliwell is one of my clients. Georgina Chapman. There's the lovely, um, oh, Scouser, what's her name? You know, I forget. Martine's one of my old customers, and there's Mina again. That was just recently on Lauren Laverne in style, and there's me and Jade that was in the mag the other day. And that's my very famous, I pa actually painted that myself, those Union Jack eyes. That was for a truly British cover. And what I love, I'm going to just cover up this little thing now. I hope this isn't going to whistle as I walk forward. There we go, because you've seen all that. You don't need to see any more of that. And I'm going to call up Claire, my model. She's going to come and sit here. She's a very nice girl. You're not terrified, are you? She doesn't look like someone I'd want to mess with. <laughs> so I better be good. You all right? OK. How's the light? Can you all see and hear me properly? OK. Um, now, if any of you got any questions, I'm going to open this up at the end if any of you want to ask me any questions about anything. But first, what I'm going to do is prepare Claire's face with a little moisturizer. I'm very fussy with, what, with, with which brands I put on my girls. Not, even if I'm doing like a bride or even if I'm doing a celebrity, I'm very, very fussy. And I only work with very specific brands and use their products. The brands I love at the moment are Elemis, of course, because they're British, and I love anything that's British. 
And I also love Om Omovaritsa, who's Hungarian. Do you know, you know Omovaritsa? They're actually here. You have to check out um, the products. Absolutely gorgeous mineral skincare. Wonderful, wonderful. They've got this spray. It's like a toner that you put on before moisturizer. And it's called Queen of Hungary Mist. It's actually one of the, the oldest, oldest, oldest perfumes um, that has gone now into this wonderful tonic spray. And it really helps boost your moisturizer. And I spray that on every single girl before I do a little makeup. And I've already popped some on our Claire here. And I'm going to pop the moisturizer on. But they're here. They're Hungarian. They sell in Liberties. So do go and check them out. And if you like Elemis, you, how many of you love that pro collagen marine cream? Oh my god, isn't it amazing? Absolutely love that. So that's two brands I like to work with a lot. But as I say, it's all about makeup, and I've got my own makeup range. So I'm going to be showing you things from my own makeup range and talking to you a little bit about how you can wow your clients. Because I think clients are very individual, aren't they? Every client wants something else. And what will wow one customer won't wow another one. So you kind of have to be a little bit um, clever with how you immediately relate to your customer and you pinpoint what you actually want. Um, what, what you feel they want out of this session, this makeover, or even if you're doing you know, their wedding or something. So I think the best thing to do is always kind of speak to your customer, find out what they want. And I tell you that one of the best things to wow someone is actually to make their skin look amazing. It's not about always eyeshadows and fabulous blending and loads of lashes and a gorgeous, sexy lip color. If you can make if you can wow your client with amazing looking skin, using a primer, using the right foundation, using the right formula of foundation, that I promise you, you'll win her over. And the great thing about great looking skin, you can, you can wear less on your eyes, cheeks and lips, because if your skin looks like you've just come back from holiday, or you look 10 years younger, 15 years younger, evening out your skin tone, I tell you, th th there's immediately that wow factor because there's a lot of products out there that are very, very fabulous, but it's very confusing. So it's up to us as makeup artists to be able to tell a customer what she's, what, what's good for her. I've got a min most of my makeup is actually starting to be mineral. This is my mineral foundation. It's a liquid. There aren't that many liquid mineral makeups around. There's a lot of powders. I tend to find that powders are overused and they just make the skin look a little bit dry. And if, you're, and if you haven't got the skin of like a 16-year-old and you put all this powder on, regardless if it's mineral or not, you'll look flowery and cakey. That's just not attractive. You want your skin to absolutely sing. You want it to look a little bit dewy, a little bit fresh, brighter. You want your skin to be brighter, not necessarily lighter. You don't want to make your base color lighter, but you want there to be a brightness that comes through. Close your eyes, darling. Here we go. I mean, I'm blessed with Claire. But we've not met before. But I was sent her photo. She had big hair in it, didn't you? Big hair in that picture. Big curly, whirly hair. And in fact, her handle is what? Curly Claire, isn't it? Was it curly? Mm. On her, anyway. But she's got great, gorgeous skin. But what I'm using is a foundation that just brings out her natural coloring. It tones down where she's got a little bit of high color. And as you can see, I'm using a brush. And if you just apply a little bit of base to the center of the panel of the face and then blend out and upwards, then you're applying the foundation the correct professional way. You know, in a simple thing like what I'm going to do now, if somebody's being photographed, turn your head here, darling. You see Claire's little ear? It's a bit pink. A little bit of foundation on there helps to even out the skin tone. It's all these little details that will make your makeup look amazing. Now, you don't always have to pop foundation all over the face. You can just put a little bit here, put a little bit there. If you've got absolutely perfect skin, just hide the nasties with a bit of concealer. Always pop a little bit of foundation. I'm going to show you diff the difference between popping a little foundation on one eye. I'm not sure how much this camera, can that go any higher? Because we're kind of looking up her nose a bit. Can we? Yeah. I want to make it great for these girls out there. Oh, don't get too close. That's very scary. 